It's your senior year, and you're really excited about applying to college, right? And you get all your ducks in a row, and you talk to your parents, you narrow down your list of colleges, and by September you think, I got this. You know, I'm going to apply, get in, take out a small loan, I'll be fine. That's one of the many thoughts running through the minds of juniors and seniors as I speak. You and your parents fill out your FAFSA form, and your common app is finished, and you send it off, waiting for a reply. I had a conversation with a friend in class. I asked her, what was your dream college? She said, Harvard. I waited a few moments, then asked, if you got into Harvard and it was your ticket out of this town, but you had to take out a large loan, would you still go? She said, yes. I followed up with a question if she knew the difference between a subsidized loan and an upsubsidized loan. I'm still waiting for a response. That's the problem with this generation. We are placed at the dinner table and fed with these ideas of the American dream, and we go through life with unwavering ambition and hope that we can achieve anything. But then we hit a roadblock, and the harsh reality set in. By the age of five, we are unintentionally set up for failure. My generation has accepted the fact that in order to attend college to achieve our dreams, we are going to have to take out loans. As of right now, there is $1.45 trillion of student loan debt. An average graduate from 2016 has $37,172 of debt after their first year of matriculating. I want you guys to think back at, to graduation for 2016. It was a great day, wasn't it? It's projected that 43% of the class of 2016 will die before they're relieved of their debt. Now, that means nearly all of those students, a large fraction of them, will die before their student debt is satisfied. Those are students that you taught, that you saw every day. People are having their social security funds stripped from them because they were unable to pay their loans. Another issue our generation is faced with is the fact that we have these dreams and ambitions, but don't have the financial literacy to get there. That's where you come in. We are here to make a modest proposal, one that will help the juniors, the freshmen, and even the small first graders. We propose an idea of an after-school program for the juniors and seniors to help learn the nitty gritties of what it means to apply for a subsidized or an upsubsidized loan. We need to make college decisions armed with all the information, and that includes understanding what it just means to become $37,000 in debt to, per year for our college experience. We need to become informed consumers so that we can pursue the American dream and not fall flat in our faces. Thank you.